Today we're going to be talking about the one, the only, Doc Martin. Uh, hi, hello, welcome. So, recently I bought a pair of Doc Martens. Maybe like one one week ago, probably about a little bit over one week ago. And I bought them for like back to school. Because I wanted like a cool boot that I could wear to school. So I thought getting a pair of Doc Martens would be a good idea. When I bought them, sorry about the mat, I think they were like about $200. Um, we were lucky, my mom had a discount, so it was only like 190 I think she got $10 off, so that's pretty good. But Doc Martens are very expensive. I got the, um, so I got the classic boot, which is the Doc Martin 1460s. So they're a little bit different than the Jaden boot, which I know a lot of people have. It's like the 1460s have a thinner sole, whereas the Jadens kind of have a platform sole, and they are a little clunkier. I don't know if they're like taller or they have, they're different like, in the ankle area, but I know the 1460s I think are smaller than the Jadens. They have eight eyelets, I think they're called, or <laughs> holes on the side. Mine have the yellow, I don't know if you can see it, but the yellow stitching around the sides of them. Yeah, so I got a pretty classic boot. So overall, I really like the boot. So I've been wearing them for a little while now. Maybe like I just got them a week ago, so I've been trying to break them in. Because Doc Martens are very stiff when you first get them. They're leather. So obviously they're going to be really hard when you first get them and they're going to give you blisters if you don't wear them right away and don't break them in at first. It's going to be a very painful process if you don't <laughs> do the steps. So I also wanted to talk about how I'm breaking in my boots and how you can break in your boots because sometimes it's hard to know what you should be doing and what is good for your shoes and what is bad for your shoes because sometimes people will give you random tips and it can ruin your shoes. So. Step one. So, first thing you do, obviously, is you want to make sure you're buying the right boot. You're not like, make sure it fit too well. Doc Martens don't have half sizes. So, that, and I heard they recommend if you're like, let's say a seven and a half, then go down to a seven. Like, always go a size down instead of going up to like an eight if you're seven and a half. So, that's very important, making sure you have the right size boot. Here's another important thing is that you don't want to be swimming in your shoe, like you don't want your shoe to be super loose. Doc Martens are very tight at first, and I think that scares a lot of people, but you need to make sure you are getting them at the right size, that they're not too loose, not too tight. Like, I am usually like a size seven in women's shoes, sometimes it's like six and a half, but the Doc Martens sevens in women's were very big on me, so I got a size six. Okay, step two. So the first thing you want to do when you get home and you have your shoes is it's a good idea if you haven't been wearing them a long time in the store when you're trying them on is make sure you try them on maybe wear them for a few minutes but identify where it's tight like where are the tight spots so for me on my Doc Martens the tight spots were at the heel because the heel is very stiff on Doc Martens and kind of the top here this top part is tight for me and kind of also on the side here. Those were the tight parts for me. A tip I like to do is on all the tight spots before you put on your shoes every day is make sure you like kind of like massage your boot like on the top will do like this kind of give it like CPR. I bet some people are watching this and looking at me like oh my god you're gonna wrinkle your boots. Your boots are gonna get wrinkled anyway. It's not a big deal, no one can tell. My boots are, I don't know if you can tell, maybe in the light there, but um, there's a bit of wrinkles at the back. There's a bit of wrinkles on the front. It doesn't matter. <laughs> no one will notice. No one's gonna come up to you and say, oh, you have a bunch of wrinkles on your boots. No one cares. 
good thing to do to help loosen up your boots and kind of soften the leather is massage your boots. I was like to get really into the heel. I couldn't do this when I first got my boots. I couldn't really like press into the heel here because they were so hard and you're gonna you're gonna realize how hard your boots are. But make sure you're like massaging the heel especially and kind of like because it is very stiff when you first get them. So just massage your boots. Just do it for a while, maybe a minute or two. Not too long, it doesn't mean that much. But it just helps soften the leather and loosen up your boots a bit before you put them on. Step three. Now, you want to wear your boots like every day. If you want to break your boots in quickly, you need to keep wearing your boots every day. But you don't want to start like wearing your boots out and about because you're going to get blisters and that's not going to be fun. So I recommend for like the first two or three days, Start slow and wear your boots for like at least 10 minutes a day, maybe like no more than 30 minutes, so like two to three times a day. <laughs> I actually, I did not think this would happen, but the first time I decided to wear my boots, I went on a walk, like a 20 minute walk, and I got blisters on both my feet. Don't do that. Don't do what I did. That was a mistake. And then once you have blisters, it's going to be really hard to want to wear your boots and break in your boots because it's gonna hurt a lot and you're gonna be like why am i in my boots my ankles hurt because i have blisters don't do that don't be like me i would just wear them around for a bit try and like just get used to being in them stretch them out a bit and it seemed to work and then they got pretty a lot softer before you start wearing your boots outside especially you want to make sure you polish your boots polishing your boots is very important because it just protects the leather and just Keeps your boots nice because the leather is gonna crack if you don't take care of it. Yeah, so you want to make sure you're protecting your boots. Um, I know Doc Martin, they have a lot of shoe polishes. I think a lot of people use the Wonder Balm on their Doc Martens. My dad has a bunch of leather shoes, so I just got him to use whatever kind of polish he had to protect the boots. You can really use whatever. It's not like you're gonna ruin your boots if you don't use the Doc Martin brand Wonder Balm. But especially when it gets colder and it's like winter, I also recommend weatherproofing your boots. I have not done that yet because it's summer where I live, so there's really no need to do that. Plus I'm not wearing them to school yet because school hasn't started. So yeah, it's not a big deal. Anyways, back to what I was saying about wearing your boots every day. Yeah. So once you've kind of worn in your boots a bit, you've been wearing them like inside, then that's when you can start walking outside and go for going for short walks. I'm lucky because my street is like, a circle so I can just walk around and like add a loop every day so that I'm not walking too far away from home and if my ankles do end up hurting I can just go home and I'm not like far away from home so that's good I've also tried wearing them out like I wore them to theater rehearsal one day and that was pretty good actually that worked really well I was wearing them for like two hours and I was fine step four whenever you're wearing your boots you want to make sure that you're not that you're wearing the proper socks because you will get blisters if you're not wearing like the right kind of socks i recommend wearing a long pair of socks this is just an example pair like a pair that's not gonna fall off or while you're wearing your doc martens these ones have cats and books on them <laughs> um but you want to wear a nice long pair of socks that isn't gonna like slide down your ankle and they're gonna give you blisters I also have a pair of like navy navy socks that I wear with them usually. Yeah, so I recommend those. You also want to make sure your socks are thick. And if your socks are even like this, this isn't thick enough. This is like regular sock thickness. So I wear a pair of these and then I'll wear like a pair of ankle socks um, on top so that I don't get blisters so that way the socks rubbing against another sock and it's not rubbing against my skin and you can also wear a pair of like wool socks that are super thick like you want to be wearing like thick winter socks like you don't just want to be wearing like one pair of thin socks and you don't want to be wearing ankle socks because those will definitely slide off your feet while you're wearing the boots and that'll give you blisters so another great way to avoid blisters or to help avoid getting more blisters if your blisters are healing is we're is wearing band-aids on your heels. I have blisters at the moment, so I wear a band-aid on my heel just to avoid like irritating them again. And it really works, it works a lot. I feel like this video is very scattered, but I have one last tip about how to loosen your docks. But this is something my dad told me. 
and some of you might freak out and think this is not a good idea, but if, if you're finding any tight spots on your Doc Martens, run a hair dryer over it on like a low setting, not too hot, but just like warm so the air is warm and hold it like, like this at your boot and like whatever tight spots you have, like mine were at the top and at the heel, just run the hair dryer on them for like 30 seconds and it'll soften the leather. The leather will like warm up and soften and it'll mold to your foot. So that's a good way to stretch them out, especially if you're wearing thick socks, because it'll stretch to the size of the thicker socks. Um, yeah, it's a really good way to stretch out your docks and it's not gonna ruin like your Doc Martens. Obviously, if you're holding them for a long time and it's really hot, you could like melt the glue or something. But if it's just like on a warm setting and it's like for 30 seconds, you're not gonna hurt your shoe and it's not gonna be a problem. So yeah. I recommend using a hair dryer. So eventually you'll get to the point where your docks will be super soft and you can wear them like every day. I feel like I could probably wear my docks to school and it wouldn't be a problem. I might bring like, make sure if you're going somewhere and you know you're gonna be there for a long time like school, maybe like bring an extra pair of shoes cause these, cause my feet do start to get sore a bit after, but I've heard that eventually docks will become your like most comfortable pair of shoes and that they are really good shoes. So I'm excited for when they are really nice and comfy. All I can say is breaking in your talks take a lot of patience. If you're wearing them every day, then you can pretty much almost break them in in a week. I feel like I'm really close. I think by the end of this week, these should be like pretty much broken in. The 1460s, um, so the boots I own, the 1460s, they have been pretty good to break in. They're pretty easy. I don't know what the other boots have, are like. I've heard the Jadens are harder to break in. I could be wrong though. But I do really recommend getting a pair of Doc Martens if you're looking for a pair of boots because they are super, super comfy once you break them in. And they're not too hard to break in if you're doing it right and you're really working at it every day. The thing I learned about all of this is just don't rush into it because like I did, I went for a walk, you're gonna get blisters and it's not gonna work. So just be patient while you're wearing your docks. You can't wear them full time right away. You need to be like slow about it. Um, anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was really fun to make. If you have any other questions, just leave them in the comments down below. Um, please feel free to subscribe. This is like my first YouTube video. I'm planning on making more content. I don't know if I'll be doing stuff weekly or just randomly. I'm really not sure I want my posting schedule. Is gonna be like I'm really just starting out. I'm hoping on getting a better camera because I'm just <laughs> filming on my phone right now. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and that you look forward to watching my other videos. See you next time.